God. Too funny. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Confident, Fearless, and Worthy, and today I'm going to tell you the story of the time that I was hit on in a very unlikely place. Uh, so here goes nothing. So I, back in the fall, this fall, I was thinking about getting a part-time job. And just to make some extra cash and, you know, uh, trying to start saving some money. So I decided to apply to a store that shall not be named for reasons. And I got an interview. So I was like really excited about it. And um, I, I will be upfront and say that it was a store in a mall. So I ended up going to the mall. I looked really cute, real good girl, like <laughs> dressed to the nines, full face of makeup. I'll insert a picture here so you can see, oh yeah was working it that day okay um had the interview it was weird it was a group interview and so that's always a strange experience um and i guess i didn't do that well because i didn't end up getting the job but anyway so after the interview i like poked around a couple stores and then i was like you know what i'm kind of hungry um so i'm gonna head on over to chipotle which is on the way home so so i get there and I'm eating Chipotle, and I'm on my phone, because that's typically what I do, and all of a sudden, this man comes over to me, and he's dressed in a uniform, and uh, a girl loves a man in uniform, <laughs> can I just say, and he was like, I, I don't know, I couldn't really tell how old he was, um, so I was just like, all right, cool, and he goes, Excuse me, ma'am. Um, I just wanted to let you know that you are really beautiful, and I wanted to know if you were. Now I couldn't hear the last bit because you know it's Chipotle, and so it got kind of loud in there. And so I was like, "Wait, excuse me, what did you say?" And he goes, "I wanted to know if you were spoken for," and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> spoken for? What is this? The 1940s? Oh, all right." And so I said, "Oh, well, no, I, I, I am not." And he was like, "Really?" Oh wow, cause like, you know, I just see you sitting over here and you just look so beautiful and blah 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 blah. And I was like, okay, alright. And then I remembered where I was. I was sitting in the middle of Chipotle, getting hit on by a man in uniform, and I was like, what is my life? Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, the fat girl got hit on in Chipotle. Oh, it's so cliche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it down in the comments, because I get it. So, you know, we're chatting, whatever, and he's like, well, you know, are you are you almost done? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I am, I'm almost done. He was like, okay, well, and I have to go back to work, so, you know, can I, can I have your number? And so I was like, you know what, sir, yes, you can. You can have my number, because you approached me in a Chipotle and asked me for my number. So I feel like at this point, you deserve it, okay? So then later that night, he ends up texting me and so we're chatting he's like oh I'm going on a break in a couple minutes like can can I give you a call and I'm like sir yes give me a call and so he calls me and uh, we're talking and he lets me know he's a security guard he works in Boston um, but he's also like getting him back into construction and he's worked in construction for 23 years and at that point I said so how old are you? And uh, he was like, well, how old are you? And I said, um, I'm 27. And he goes, oh, I'm 43. Like, oh. <laughs> See, I am really bad at the whole determining ages type of thing. I will give him credit, like he, he you know, I couldn't really tell, I really couldn't. Like, even if I was good at that kind of stuff, I probably wouldn't wouldn't have been able to tell anyway. So he was like, oh, you're a baby, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, calm down. Like, it's not that bad. So then he was like, oh, well, can you send me a picture? Cause like, I want a picture, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, okay, yes, I'll send you a picture. And so he was like, all right, I will, uh, I'll, I'll, t I'll text you, you know, to set something up next week and I never heard from him again <laughs> but you know what after thinking about it like I, I 
I think the age thing probably was the thing that threw him off. I mean, it threw me off too after like I thought about it for a little while. I was like, I don't know, like I'm not in the place in my life where I'm ready to deal with like, oh, he also said that he had like um, been divorced, had two kids, and I was like, I don't think I'm ready for that kind of <laughs> baggage in my life. Not that it's like, you know, a terrible thing. I would be open to it. It's just, that's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot, and I already got my own stuff going on, you know, so I was like, mm, that's probably for the best. But yeah, so that is the story of the time that I got hit on in Chipotle. <laughs> it just makes me laugh, like, who gets hit on in Chipotle? Um, I hope you enjoyed this story time. Uh, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, let me know where's the weirdest place that you've gotten hit on. But anyway, uh, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you later.